everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am gonna share with you my top 10 items that I felt like were the least used or you know some people call them the worst purchases because they were the least used so those of you who have not seen my best purchases of the year i've already posted that video i'm gonna link it down below as well but you can definitely check that one out to uh, see the contrast i suppose between that list and this list uh, one of the items that was shown on my thumbnail and it is the beautiful trendy cc handbag from chanel so mine is in the small size i bought it during my birthday month so you know i, I haven't had a lot of time with this bag yet it's just one of my least used therefore it's in this video i don't want to just use it just to use it in a way because cleaning a lambskin bag is not what i want to do i'm not one of those people that uh, just think that I should use a bag more often and just use it whenever I can and just use it when I go to the grocery or whatnot. There may be some bags I can do that with, uh, but there is a good reason for it because they're more hard wearing. This is not one of those bags. Lady Dior in the mini size. I pretty much got this the week of my birthday or the week after my birthday because um, there was an imminent price increase. I loved the Lady Dior for a long, long time. so. I just had to get my hands on it before it's like, you know, another price increase where the price is just too much where I wouldn't I wouldn't even think about it to buy retail type of thing. I really did want my first Lady Dior, perhaps my only Lady Dior to be from brand new from the retail store. Therefore, I just took the plunge. Um, so I am glad that I took the plunge, but it is one of those bags where I hardly wore. It's just one of those bags where I knew going in that it's not gonna be an everyday style. Maybe just not my favorite configuration to have to, you know, go through these rings and, you know, um, try to fit your things inside a kind of quite structured style bag. It's definitely my least used purchase. So in a way it's like a worse purchase for last year, right? Because I didn't really get to use it. So I created a tag video in November. In that video, I shared that this would be one of those bags that I would sacrifice. Now it's all hypothetical. Like I said in that video, I'm not really selling anything at the moment. Being the pandemic year for, you know, the main reason, um, when I go out and come home, I usually, I'm going out for essential errands, so not going to the most nice and high-end places. It's mainly that reason why I have not worn this bag. The other reason is because I love to keep my things in pristine condition, and the only way to really keep a fabric bag in pristine condition is to not use it, which defeats the purpose of owning it. So I am a little conflicted, I'm not gonna lie. Do I wanna keep it in my collection because it's such a beautiful collector's piece and I love looking at it, or should I just let it go and move on, right? That type of thing. So we'll leave it at that. Technically, this was not purchased last year. It was um, late 2019 again, and it was not even a purchase. It was just kind of a situation where I had a defective bag and I had to choose something else. I feel like in my collection, it's a redundant style because I consider this to be more of an evening style, so like a very dressy evening bag. But I also have a lot of bags like that that I can use instead. I think because I'm such brand loyal to Chanel that um, leather bags from LV just don't appeal to me. Therefore, I won't reach for this bag either because uh, it's diversity, yes, but I have something better instead that I personally prefer reaching to like I, I just love wearing my favorites so much even when I compare this to say the Lady Dior I mean they're not quite comparable this one is a fraction of a cost of the Lady Dior um, f for me it's it's about loving the style so much and having wanting the style so much like the Lady Dior so much that it did not matter to me as much if I did not wear that bag as much whereas for this I feel guilty not wearing it. The Saint Laurent Uptown pouch. It's just so stunning. Um, but yeah, it's one of those things. Never worn. I didn't have any opportunities to use it. Um, I don't know if I quite regret it. I, I guess my motto also is that if I don't wear something, then it, it becomes a worse purchase. 
And if you don't reach for something, there there is an underlying reason, right? It's it's like you have something else better to to choose from in your own collection. I still feel like it's one of the you know really affordable pieces that looks like a million bucks. So it's not something that I quite need to get rid of in my collection just because I haven't worn it. It's just because of 2020, I feel, and the and the reason why I, I never had to use it. Um, yeah, but it's just stunning, beautiful magnetic closure. Um, it just looks like a million bucks, doesn't it? Like, don't you agree? It's just such a stunning piece. If you guys follow my channel, you know that I don't make a lot of mistakes with costume jewelry. Um, I'm really good at knowing what I like and knowing what I want. But this one might be an exception. And I, I, I'm, I'm quite undecided, but um, anyway, I'll show you what it is. It is my pearl, beautiful pearl necklace with a uh, pearl charm. And it's quite long, you can double it up, you can wear it even like three times long. Um, but I think doubling up is really pretty or wearing it uh, one layer is really, really pretty. My dilemma with this piece and why I am putting it in this video, uh, like in the worst category, is because I actually reach for it less than I thought I would. I wonder if it's because I'm more of an earring person and when I wear my earrings, and I prefer wearing my earrings, I don't quite need so much more on the neck area or you know like i don't want to be clashing too much like earring and necklace type of thing uh, and even when i do wear a necklace i find that the longer pendant uh, i have one cc pendant that i constantly reach for because it's easy to just throw on so this is the only pendant necklace that i own and in contrast to this i reach for this like so much this is definitely one of my best purchases. Um, I did purchase this in 2019 and I have worn it countless times already. I'm usually maybe more casual when I wear my necklaces, therefore if I want to dress up, I'd rather go for my earring type of thing. It's one of those scenarios where I'm not quite sure uh, what to make of it. Like This is a super duper cute bag and um, I, I don't consider this to be like worse as in like I want to get rid of it worse. I didn't reach for it very often, but it's, you know, pandemic situation and everything. But it did make it to this list because if I were to compare this and my Chanel phone holder, I kind of favor the Chanel phone holder. But then again, I am brand loyal. So I think you see where I'm going. Maybe it's just one of those pieces where I... They didn't have to get right away. Item number 10 is kind of a whole category in itself. It's sort of the ready to wear pieces that I bought that I have never even used or, you know, worn out at all. Understandably because of lockdown, but still, I, I guess I should just mention it because I've been mentioning a bunch of things that I haven't worn because of that reason. But it begs the question, I wonder if for 2021 should, um, should I, I'm not gonna say for anybody else, but should I keep on doing that? Should I buy things that I know I will love? I, I know I wanna get wear out of them because uh, you know, in, in normal life you would, but because you can't, should you just wait? So it begs the question, and for 2021, should I change the way I approach my shopping? Which, you know, it kinda has changed a little bit anyway, but should I even go further and really reflect on um, how to go about this, you know what I mean? Let me know what are some of your worst purchases this last year. If you're brand new to my channel and you love this type of content, definitely subscribe. I would love to have you back and I'll talk to you guys again very soon. Bye!